Hey, it's Josh Reimer, and today I'm in Whistler on another trip around the Gayosphere, a resort town where you might actually spot a bear wandering around. And I'm not just talking about the gay men. Gayosphere.com is your gateway to the best gay and lesbian travel destinations, like Whistler, BC. It has a permanent population of only 10,000 people, but receives over 2 million visitors per year. It's the largest gay-friendly mountain resort in North America, and we all know that size really does matter. Whistler is fantastic any time of the year, but it's especially popular in the winter for skiers and snowboarders. Only a couple of hours from Vancouver, it tends to have sunnier weather with lots of snow. Some of the 2010 Winter Olympic competitions were held here, thrusting Whistler into the spotlight. I said thrust. There are two mountains here, Whistler and Blackcomb, which just happen to be connected by the world's longest continuous lift system. The 4.4 kilometer or 2.7 mile journey has some incredible views, but most importantly, the restaurant on the other end is rumored to have some incredible Caesars. The drink, not the salad. Speaking of food and drink, there's plenty of that in Whistler's pedestrian village. International cuisine, luxury fine dining, cheap bar grub, and even just a custom-made hot dog. Whatever you're after, you can probably find it within walking distance. And yes, I am still talking about food, although you can probably find that too. Whistler definitely has a very quaint, outdoorsy feeling to it. You'll feel very close to nature while you're here, whether you're taking part in any number of available activities, or like me, watching other people take part in them from a coffee shop. Teach their own. If you're also not much of an outdoorsman, you'll be happy to know that Whistler hosts some world-class spas. Scandinav, for example, has a mix of hot and cold environments that you move through in complete silence. Yes, you even have to turn off your cell phone. But don't worry, Grinder will still be there when you get out. While you're in Whistler, you'll probably notice that a lot of the people who work here have accents. That's because this is a hot spot for people from other Commonwealth countries who come here on a working holiday visa. So if you love a guy with an accent, you'll probably find one here. Good eye, Mike. Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Yeah, same thing. No, it's not. Okay. And of course, I can't talk about Whistler without mentioning Winter Pride one of the biggest and best LGBT ski weeks in North America. It's also when the Mr. Gay Canada competition takes place. I should know, because I was in it this year. And lost. I don't want to talk about it. If you're looking for a world-class getaway with fantastic scenery, a plethora of restaurants and pubs, amazing spa experiences, and of course all kinds of fantastic outdoor activities, Whistler is definitely the place for you. Oh yeah, and there's also lots of great shopping here too, which is an activity that I am great at any time of the year. Thanks for watching and make sure you visit gayosphere.com to plan your next trip. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can catch the next episode when I'll be at another LGBT friendly location somewhere in the Gayosphere. See you on the slopes. And by slopes, I mean spa. Let's be real. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss the next episode. Somewhere in the Gayosphere. Uh, see you on the slopes. What the heck happened there? Ooh, it's moving. It's moving. Oh, is it just us moving? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Or watching other people activity. Act activity. <laughs> Very good at any time of the year. <laughs> I trip up the stairs. Okay.